I'm out, we'll go out, we'll go! Ta-da! I would like to present my DIY PAPR, Personal Air Powered Respirator. It's a $30 snorkel mat combined with the hose and motor out of a CPAP machine. Filters from just a traditional dust mask, a switch, a couple RC batteries, and an Arduino. And that, that's pretty much it. Okay, basic concept of how this works. Air is drawn in through the filters, into this chamber, compressed, pushed through the hose, in through the top, across your eyes, down here, out this hole. So when you breathe in, you're breathing in the air that's coming out of here, not from here. And when you're not breathing in, the air is going out this valve, which has a check valve on it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna quick go see if this works. So you go ahead and turn it on. Eight seconds later, it comes on. Pretty quiet. You can't really see it, so one moment. I'm out, we'll go out, we'll go out. So let me quick walk you through what you need to make this work. So I was like, I want that. And I spent the next two days modeling and putting some prototypes out. So yeah, once you're done uh, modeling, you put it on your SD card, put your SD card in your Easy Bake Oven, and then boom, prints come out a little bit later. So the next step is to create a wiring diagram of what you want to happen. And then have your two-year-old draw on it, so you have to start over. But realize that you made a mistake on the first one, so then go apologize to your two-year-old. You're welcome. So the heart of this is this CPAP machine that I, uh, I got from uh, my dad when he passed away. Uh, so we've repurposed the hose and the motor from it, so we got to get the motor out of here. There we go. All the files, um, including .stps, uh, so you can go through and manipulate this to hopefully adjust for whatever you have lying around. Um, anyway, I, I've, I've put all those on Thingiverse, uh, so there's a link down in the description. Feel free to check it out. You'll need to source some part. You'll either have to go on eBay or Amazon or whatever, Alibaba, and get a couple things. Or you can be like me and be the kind of person who has stored things for like the last eight years in the hopes that someday he can make something like this. But yeah, you're gonna need roughly... Th so this is everything you need. You need a scuba mask, a CPAP brushless motor, ESC and Arduino Nano, regular switch, uh, and you know, some kind of 24 volt power supply. Some CPAP uh, hose, an adapter to go onto the snorkel, and like a so some filters uh, then you'll need some 3d printed parts there's uh, four in this I got a cover uh, for the bottom the main housing and uh, the cap uh, and that adapter up there. and the adapter up there so I've wanted one of these PAPRs personal air powered respirators uh, ever since I saw Alex Steele use his in his grinding room and I thought, that is spectacular, I need that in my life. And then, but I was like, well, you know, what I have usually suffices. Then I saw uh, Bobby Duke, and what he can do with his little rotary carver set. I got a Dremel, I could do that, but then again, he also looks like this a lot. Um, and I didn't want to look like that, so I thought I should make my own. So what this consists of, are some pieces. These are all these are all 3D printed PE uh, TG parts. This is the compressor out of the CPAP machine. It's a uh, brushless. It's got three wires that go back uh, through an internal hollow slot in there. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Yeah. So those three wires go through that slot there uh, and out to the bottom. And then uh, there's a hollow 
there's a cavity here that draws the air in from the two filters. So yeah, I was like, I want that. And, uh, you know, part of me is like, I wonder if I should just send this to Bobby Duke. I mean, I, he seemed, or at the very least make him aware of it, because he seems like the kind of guy that would really appreciate something like this. You know, he's a, seems like a salt of the earth kind of guy. Like, I don't think he'd spend 1300 to $2,000 to make his life a little better uh, in terms of getting, when he gets covered in dust and muck and whatnot, when he's carving, but... Man, yeah, maybe I should. There's so many screws! And I'm doing it by hand because I don't want to strip out the, the plastic threads. Like, I kind of feel wary even just taking it out. There's just this. Oh, God! The funny thing is, my face is sweating now, but it wasn't earlier when I had the mask on, so. I think there's something to that whole air blowing across your face thing. So inside here, uh, we have our switch. I'll admit that my wiring job is not the best. Okay. We have a brushless uh, CPAP compressor. This runs off of 24 volts um, and is uh, brushless, so it needs an ESC. So we have an ESC here, 40 amp, because it was the cheapest one I could find on Hobby King, and an Arduino Nano uh, controlling it. And so all the all the Arduino Nano does is it powers on, and in the uh, before running the loop, it sends uh, a signal to the ESC to say full stop zero um, microseconds. And then during the loop, we go up to 1750 microseconds after eight seconds. That gives this ESC time to arm and be ready to go. Um, because this is 24 volts and I only have 12 volt RC stuff, I have these in series and they're placed in series when I toggle this switch. Right now, they're both uh, independent of each other and independent of the ESC, so I can recharge these by hooking my RC charger up to these two ports, battery left, battery right, uh, when it gets uh, to the point that it needs recharged. So I can, I can recharge these. Um, th like I said, this is what I had lying around. You can find, the, uh, five, you can find a, a five amp hour six cell uh, for 50 bucks or so on Hobby King. Uh, but since I had these lying around, I didn't want to spend the money. These are uh, some section views. like that just to confirm that some of the dimensions were correct before I went to the full uh, one and a half day print uh, this was printed all in one piece on the Prusa and uh, you can see that these two airways here uh, this this is uh, essentially a section view on the bottom part of this halfway up this is the channel that the three wires that control the brushless motor goes up into and you can see that as it was printing it was filling this with uh, uh, with support material because, uh, like an idiot, I didn't think about that when I went and started this at midnight one night. Uh, I started the print at midnight, don't ever do that, it's a bad idea. Why is it that everything I model ends up looking like it? So yeah, this is just real quickly done to confirm that uh, the interlocking mechanism works. And that was what that was. But you can see that uh, both these filters go down into here and then up into this chamber. So this would be like so. And that's like one half of those filters right there. Yeah. And so this was printed all in one piece with the airway already built into it. And you just have to shape your airway so that it doesn't require support material. And that's all we did. All right, so to get this thing to run, you just turn this switch on. That t powers up the Arduino. It, the Arduino is getting five volts from the ESC. There we go. It's powered, so this should turn on. And to turn it off, you just put these back into, uh, you isolate these two. Uh, but yeah, essentially you're just putting this in series, which then powers up um, the ESC, which powers up the Arduino, which controls it. Pretty simple, um, nothing too complex. Now I have to somehow put all this back together.
You then have a sealing ring on the bottom and on the top here. That was part of the original package. I just cut away a good bit of the gasket that was originally needed. Yeah, how's that for no rattling? All right, so let's quick talk cost of what was involved here. I spent uh, $15 on plastic. Uh, sorry, I'll take that back. About 20 on plastic with the prototypes. $15 on the ESC. I had everything else here um, lying around from different times I purchased it. The batteries I purchased six, seven years ago. Um, the CPAP I've had for two years. This mask for five. Uh, the Arduino for two or so. Um, the switch, same with the switch. I, th I think I've had that switch for five years. Uh, I just don't throw anything away or, yeah, I'm yeah, getting right. Moving on. Uh, this ratty strap, need to get a better one. Um, yeah, the, the bolts I've had for six years, that kind of thing. Uh, the mask I bought to go to the Bahamas to do snorkeling. Um, I, this is, this is still capable of being put back into its original shape. Uh, the top up here just clips in with the ball and the seal seat. Uh, so this is completely usable as a snorkeling mask kit still at this point. Um, I may take this part off and put a muffler for the discharge. Um, with the smoke test, I was getting a, just a hint of a smoke smell uh, through the filters, but not nearly as bad as when I took it off. So I, I think this is valid um, for dust. As far as impact resistance, I don't know what material this is or if it would be you know, wise. To, I obviously don't throw hot shards of metal at it, uh, but I imagine for woodworking it'd probably be just fine um, for specs and whatnot. Uh, it's a flat piece here, which I assume given that you could go down 30 feet or so would be a fair bit of uh, pressure against it. So um, I don't know, maybe it's polycarbonate. I couldn't find any marks on it to say what it was or wasn't. Uh, it's silicone here. If you're still uh, here listening to me ramble on, this is your kind of channel. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you think I've earned it. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll like the video, share it. Helps me out a ton uh, being a small channel. And uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Should I should I give it to Bobby Duke? I mean, he seems like he would appreciate this. And I mean, I, I do like his videos, and they have brought a lot of enjoyment into my life and my children's lives. I might. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments.